personal projects have a way of getting away from, it seems like, my schedule. Um, the second print that I did for this series uh, called the Dragon Mistresses, I think it was like in January or February of 2021. And, uh, you know, almost six months later now I have the opportunity to finish the third one since the print set was going to be three sets of dragon mistresses. So I've had to postpone a lot of the filming and the, um, you know, and the creation of it because I didn't have a set dragon for the third one yet. And uh, since this is done, done in watercolors, it was also something that required a lot of fluidity and a little bit more planning than usual, you know, like it's not Photoshop and it's not Copic. So once you lay down that water, yes, you could wipe some of it down, but then it wouldn't look the same. So I had to take a break from it, um, had a lot of work and a lot of, you know, family, family situations that needed to be dealt with. Um, my mom passed away and uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that had to go through that. So I felt like I didn't want to rush the process and rush the print up until I had the opportunity to do it correctly. That being said, um, I had an idea of what I wanted, the color scheme, but not so much exactly what the dragon would entail. And so of course I go on Google and then I search for inspirations taken from plants, um, real animals, different color schemes that I liked because I wanted this dragon mistress to have red hair to kind of um, work together with the other two prints where they had a bird, the dragon, and then a different, different personality just by looking at their design so I decided to go with red hair for this one and the second print the dragon had red hair so this would kind of go with that I wanted this piece to be tightly rendered to some extent but then at the same time you're working with watercolors so how much control should there be in a process like this so I went from not having a design to coming up with something and even as I painted this dragon, I was kind of updating a few things as I went. Um, I didn't have something set in mind necessarily, but I think that kind of goes with creating pieces in watercolors and working with the medium in general. It's one thing to try to control the flow of the water, but if you control it too much, then it becomes rigid and it's not as fluid. And I didn't want to completely take away the fact that this was done in watercolor so I wanted to accent some of the aspects that make watercolor appealing which is kind of it's not perfect there is a certain level of flow that goes with using watercolors so it was uh it was kind of understanding the medium I'm working with and working with it not against it even if I had wanted it to be tighter and that's kind of the art style that I gravitate towards because I also use a lot of ink and brush work like uh, India ink or just manga ink where it's very it's very harsh and contrasty so not so much this however I didn't want it to be kind of a flat piece when you look at it from far away I spend most of my time drawing comics so just by default most of the pages are contrasty I wanted to combine both those elements because if I went too far in one direction it would look completely different than the style that I'm used to drawing um, which is contrast but if I went too far in the other direction it looked too much like a comic book and I kind of didn't want that because these are fine art prints and like I said this is watercolors I'm working with so I wanted to work with the medium and not against it not controlling it too much and it's also something that's it takes letting go to be able to create without being too sub about being too conscious of what you're doing because this piece took me four days to do instead of what I generally I try not to go beyond two days because there's so much else I have to work on like uh, outside projects and comic projects that need 
for me to you know there's a set deadline for those so this piece took a while for me to finish and every time I left I always had in the back of my mind like what if I don't finish this piece because that also happens when you have these big huge projects personal projects really and you don't finish them right away there's a chance that that kind of just sits there for a long time like the comic book I'm working on right now um, my personal project I shelved it for I mean I would say 10 years while the first five years of my career I was actively trying to do something with it so I've learned that there's a there's a sweet spot for starting a project and then actually finishing it or putting it in the back burner you know so this print this idea started a little over a year ago and it's taken that long with everything in between so finally getting this third piece done is like a sigh of relief and uh, hopefully this is kind of a combination of all the stuff that I've learned already there's also something to be said about moving out into the woods and painting this type of uh, subject matter you know dragons fantasy um, it's much easier to do than living in the city where I get distracted all the time and when you're painting this much for me personally it's nice to have the environment kind of um, work with the pieces you're working on however funny enough the comic book that I'm working on now my own project is um, is Neo Wonderland which is a uh, cyberpunk so that's all city and it's not the same as my environment now but I think I'm willing to trade that trade-off is worth it for me since I would rather it's easier to find my headspace here now than it was before for the projects that I work on so back to this um, hawks are one of my favorite birds and so I thought maybe painting a hawk and then kind of go it goes with her warrior persona or um, this particular dragon print uh, dragon mistress it goes well because she is a warrior so having a hawk I thought was a good bird for her to have um, I've designed and created some backstory for them just just enough so that I could actually finish this piece and have a cohesive understanding of what's going on um, in the piece because I didn't plan all this from the beginning it was as I went so I had to know kind of where I was going with this and so there's a little backstory for each mistress and since this um, piece took a few days to do and I had I went backpacking in between one of the days and went on a road trip um, came back kind of refreshed and was able to keep going and I wondered if I sat at my desk for two days straight and tried to finish this if the piece would look the same and chances are it probably wouldn't because our environment does affect the stuff that we work on whether we want it to or not and even the things around us and the kind of things we're focused on outside of what we're working on so I mean that's kind of something I'm working on right now this year I'm trying to be more consistent and so my work environment and how I do things have to become a decent routine so that I know what to look forward to and, and how to manage my time better to get the pieces looking the way I want them to so that's my goal, uh, you know, in 2022, I guess you could say. And uh, this piece would be the last major piece I worked on in 2021. And pretty soon here, my shop is going to open up. So um, that being said, thanks for hanging out with me again. And I hope you guys all have a nice early 2022.